And my name for Whooper is actually Quark. After a famous Star Trek character. <laughs> I'm actually not too sure if this also uh, would suit for a girl, but I don't really have another name, so... <laughs> I'll just leave it with this. But it is rather unfortunate we only have one more Pokeball left. That's a downside. Luckily we don't have to catch anything in the direct vicinity for now, so... I think I'll return here later. <laughs> Let's just continue on the path. There's a couple of uh, trainers on the docks over there. We'll meet them in a minute. Oh, there's also trainers over here. That glance. It's intriguing. What glance? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> now only one Pokémon, so this is going to be over quite quickly. Nidoran male. Oh, we just beat the Nidoran female with another camper, so... <laughs> Let's go see. Fairy, you're way too weak. Would've been nice if this guy was evolved twice, because then it would be a ground type and water gun would actually be super effective. <laughs> In basic form, this Pokemon is actually only a poison type, so. And it's almost killing Fairy, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Still able to beat you, but Fairy is not going to live a whole lot longer. <laughs> Poor little crocodile. I think it's time we put somebody else in the lead. <laughs> um. Ferdinand, still 12. Let's go put you in the lead. Let's see if there's anything flying type moves work against. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Alright, in that case, let's go see what you have. Youngster and Gordon. Only one Pokemon. <laughs> I found some good Pokemon in the grass, and yet you're still carrying only one. <laughs> Interesting. Well, Fex is not going to be super effective against this guy, but should still be enough to win this battle. One more. Tail Whip, I don't have to fear. As long as you don't attack me, lowering my defense won't do anything. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Now let's go make right. Because we did see there was another pathway over there, a dock. But before we go there, I first would like to get a different item and also heal at the Pokemon Center, which is really near here, so... <laughs> let's go here first. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke Tail? For you, right now, it is just one million Pokemon dollars. You'll want this. I would want to, but one million is a little bit too steep. <laughs> yeah, kids are loaded these days, but I'm not a kid, so... <laughs> one million Pokemon dollars for a Slowpoke tail. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> we'll find more about that in a minute. First, let's go heal up. Because I did get beat up pretty badly. Most of all, Fairy. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that item I was after. This is a great fishing spot. You saw people fishing? How about you? Would you like one of my rods? Indeed. You guessed correctly. <laughs> ah, that's good to hear. Now you're an angler too. We receive an old rod. If we put it on our key pocket. Fishing is great. If there's water, be it the sea, or just a stream, dry out your rod. And now you see why I first wanted to go in here. <laughs> Before going to that fisher spot. There's of course trainers to beat there, but there's of course also Pokemon to catch there. And I don't really have a whole lot of room in order to um, keep other Pokemon. And most of all, also don't really have a lot of Pokeballs. <laughs> so I'm afraid all of the Pokemon I still need to catch in that area... I'm going to be done in separate stages. There's also still Zubat I need to catch here, of course. It likes to show up. Let's 
Let's go try getting that item over here. Which I see on my map. Now let's go get the item, which is a Great Ball. First Great Ball in this game. More powerful variant of the Pokeball, you might say. Now let's go start looking for that Pokemon. Alright, one hour later, but indeed, I can confirm there are Zubats in the grass here at night. <laughs> Not a good thing, it took so long, but here we are finally. And let's hope I don't waste my final Pokeball on this guy. I do only have one more, and there's still a couple more Pokemon we need to get from here, unfortunately. I yeah, don't really dare use a peck on this guy, it's a flying type after all. I'm just going to kill this guy. Although he did heal himself a little bit, so he's a little bit over halfway. He should be able to take another pack now. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Calculated that correctly. So, he couldn't be more down on his health bar. Perfect time for my final Pokeball. And I don't count my Great Ball here, because I don't want to waste that on such a weak Pokémon. <laughs> the Great Ball is going to be reserved for something a little bit more formidable, if you don't mind. But there we go. The Pokéball was not wasted, and we catch Zubat in this game. Which is a known Pokémon, so I don't have to bother the Pokédex. But I will bother giving it a name. And it's a girl, so let's call this after the new evolution that this game introduces for this evolution line. Which is Crobat. And therefore, I will come up with the female name. Christine. There we go. So, no longer Gobi. After the first generation, the name Gobi no longer exists for this evolution line. <laughs> now, let's quickly head back to town. Let's go buy some more balls. <laughs> because I'm afraid that is necessary. Alright, on my way back I actually stumbled upon another rare prize. In fact, the whole Pokémon I was actually after in this region. <laughs> a Mareep! One of the most valuable Pokémon you can actually get in this game, so allow me! <laughs> this is actually the first electric type of this game, and therefore very valuable. And for the longest time in this game will be the strongest one you can get, so... After Pikachu in the first generation, Mareep is actually the price for electric types in this game. Always a must in my team, an electric type. <laughs> because of so many flying types and water types in all of these Pokemon games, the electric type is very, very valuable. In this game, I also want one. Let's go catch ourselves the first one. Mareep is ours. Thank you. And it's a new type, and therefore interesting to use. We have Mareep, the wool Pokémon. Its fleece grows continually in the summer. The fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. <laughs> Just like a real sheep, because this is clearly a sheep, but an electric one. And I will actually name this after another famous video game character. Ampharos is actually the final evolution of this guy, and because of that name I actually came up with the idea of calling this guy Andros. <laughs> I will get you next time, Star Fox. <laughs> oh, never mind. I jester too much in these games, don't I? <laughs> Let's head back, because I actually immediately want to use this guy. So a Pokemon Center is going to be required in order to get him out of the PC, where he does not belong. <laughs> he is indeed, like you've guessed, immediately going to be filling up a spot in my team. Electric types are a must in my team. They always are. So, let's go deposit one first. Christine. Not per se necessary. And let's go put in Andros. Who's of course only level 6, so a little bit of um, level grinding is first going to be required. But that shouldn't be a problem. There's plenty of Pokémon in the grass here, so... Plenty of opportunity to get you around level 12, 13 as well, just like the rest. Let's 
heal up. Because Andros is of course weakened because of the catching. And he's ready to use. Thank you, nurse. We now have our valuable electric type Pokemon. Very good to have. But first, it needs to level up. But it is perfect, because we have a fisherman spot that we need to take care of next. Perfect for electric types. Let's go bring him there. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be spot. So let's go cut through the grass here. Find ourselves a fishing spot. Where also a couple of fishermen are. But first, we're going to find out what we can catch with this newly obtained rod. It's not going to be a whole lot. It's not called old rod for nothing. It's not going to be that spectacular. <laughs> but there is indeed already a Pokémon we can catch by fishing. It's only going to be one. And since we need to use this thing constantly, I think I'll put it on select. So we only have to press the select button in order to use the item. <laughs> also something you can use in this game. In case I forgot to explain. But you can register an item on the select button. Yeah, here we go. Let's go see if we can actually catch our first water-type Pokémon. Not including one we got for free. <laughs> yeah, here he is. Here is a Magikarp. Not per se a Pokémon I need to catch, because I'm able to catch its evolution later on. But might as well point out this guy to still show off how the fishing system works in this game. Which is not per se different than in the first game, but still. <laughs> In case you're not familiar with the first game, this is how fishing works. Any body of water, you can actually cast out your rod, and you can randomly catch a couple of Pokémon that can appear in certain bodies of water. For the old rod, Magikarp is actually the only one, so you don't have to start looking for other ones. That is only possible the moment you obtain better rods, but the moment you only have your old rod, you can actually already catch Magikarps in the water. Should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Magikarp was caught. Also, not per se a new Pokémon, and therefore don't have to bother with the Pokédex. And this is a female, it looks like, so... Gary here is going to get transformed into something different. Let's call you... Garida. Because why not? <laughs> not going to use you anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> And that is the catching of Pokémon by fishing. More on that later, <laughs> the moment we get better rods. But first we're going to take care of the trainers here. My Pokémon, freshly caught. Well, unless you have a better rod than me, then it's going to be nothing but Magikarps. <laughs> the first fisher of this game is going to send out a Poliwag. Ooh, indeed, not a Magikarp. Andros would be a good bet, but I first need to make sure he actually learns a couple of attacks, so it's going to be shared experience for now for him. And Ferdinand can actually take him on. Because don't think your Mareep actually comes with an electric attack already, he first needs to learn that. Level ups needs to happen first. These trainers are perfect for shared experience. Even whenever sharing experience, the number you get is still going to be relatively high, I feel, so... Good for some early level ups. As you can see, immediately a level up. <laughs> Only one battle is enough. And the other one is also going to be a Poliwag. Let's see if we can Fury attack you as well. Hits. Already more than halfway down. So I think Andros can actually finish the rest. Give him some more shared experience, even though he's lower level than this guy. Oh, help! <laughs> I didn't expect that! <laughs> well, he has been in the battle at least, so... He will still get his experience points. <laughs> But he has been put to sleep, so... <laughs> Need to finish it with somebody else. 
<laughs> he tried to put me asleep again. <laughs> what a rude little polywag. Andros grows to level 8. Not enough to learn an attack, but still. Fairy also levels up level 14. And Ferdinand... He does not level up. <laughs> Would have been nice. Three level ups in one battle. <laughs> but no, there were only two. Oh, mom. Hi, Treats. How are you? I found a useful item shopping. So I bought it with your money. Sorry. It is in your PC. You'll like it. Oh, yeah. Um, this is what I was talking about. The moment you choose to actually send some money to your mom, she'll occasionally buy you stuff. <laughs> Oh, come on, I did not make you lose that fish. <laughs> You're just a bad fisherman. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> Justin. Ooh, he has four Pokemon. Magikarp. Well, I don't think I have to fear that one. Level 5 Magikarp. And... Andros is still asleep, so... <laughs> Joffrey, your turn. I don't think this guy is going to have a whole lot of water type attacks. So I don't think I have to fear this Magikarp. And therefore, your type disadvantage, Joffrey. Let's go throw some rocks at you for neutral damage. And even neutral damage is enough because the level difference is quite big. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be four Magikarps. Wouldn't be surprised. a pretty big waste, because the experience points is also not a whole lot, as you can see. Only 21. The weakest Pokémon of the game. Um, Ferdinand. He does any damage. <laughs> oh, and I just noticed this guy's level 15. <laughs> That's the reason why it barely does any damage anymore. <laughs> Two level 5 magic cards, which were pathetic, and then suddenly level 15. Bam! <laughs> Huge jump in level all of a sudden. He's even beating my bird. <laughs> at least almost beating my bird. But at least we're getting decent experience now. The final Magikarp, is that one going to be level 60 all of a sudden? <laughs> Let's take a chance. Yeah, only level 5. So Andros should be able to take this guy on. Solo. In this low level, it should only no splash, nothing more. So I should be able to wait until Andros wakes up. So I can finally do some uh, attacking with him. <laughs> this is an opponent you should be able to handle. Yeah, there we go, he wakes up. He gets his first attack in. <laughs> the first attack of a long career, hopefully. Because Andros is going to be a thing in my team for a while. I can already give that away. <laughs> Very good Pokémon. Especially the moment he starts learning electrical attacks, finally. And he gets his first win. His first solo win. <laughs> 21 XP. Good to start with. Alright, let's move on in this Fisher area. One more guy to take out. I'm a good angler. But an even better trainer. Alright, so the moment I beat you really easily, then I'm going to question your angle skills as well. <laughs> Well, since you only have one, I don't think I have to fear you. Level 10, Goldeen. Well, at least a new Pokémon for this game. Still a Gen 1 Pokémon after all, but still. For this game, it is new. Um, Ferdinand should be enough. Level 10 Pokémon might take too long to actually uh, take out with Mareep. While he's still level 8. Critical hit, thank you. He's only going to lower my defense. Therefore, you are gone. Level 9 for Andros. 
And there we go, the moment I was waiting for. The first electric attack for my team, Thundershock. I know also the weakest one, but still. A very valuable move to have this early in the game. <laughs> Andros is going to be a powerhouse pretty soon. Let's continue.